Welcome to Snapshots, Parts 1 and 2. This series consists of eight short scenes or segments enacted by our ensemble cast. You'll see the same characters enacting different scenes, which focus on particular parts of 21 CFR 210 and 211, which we all know as the CGMPs, Current Good Manufacturing Practices. In the trainer's guide that accompanies this series, you'll find descriptions of the scenes along with their location on the video. Now let's get started. We all know how important documentation is in all areas of pharmaceutical production. Let's take a look at an individual who's forgotten the proper way to do it. Darn, this paperwork is slowing me up, and my manager wants it now. Every time I really get going, I have to stop and make notations. Hmm, nobody else is here. Good, I'll fill this out later. It'll be much easier that way. Let's see. Step one, add 40 milliliters of fluid. Thank God that's done. 5.15? Heck, I've got to get home. Nancy will kill me if I'm late for dinner again. Now, let's fill out the notes. Product, prolactane. Okay, step one. I added 50 milliliters of fluid. Whoops, almost screwed that up. It was 40 milliliters. Oh, I almost forgot. I've got to get a double check for this step. I'll ask Paul. He owes me a few favors. Glad I caught you. Yeah, I remember. The barbecue starts at your place at 4.30 sharp. I already told Janine. No, no, I mean, well, yeah, that's right. But I need a favor. I need you to sign off on this. Ah, uh, you'll have to redo this. I can't sign off without knowing what happened. But we'll go through it tomorrow. Come on. I don't want to go through this whole process again. It took three hours. Just sign the darn thing. Jeez, I really can't do it, Paul. Okay, you win. I'll buy that T-bone steak you've been bugging me about for the barbecue. You'll buy a T-bone instead of hamburger? Now you're talking. You sure drive a hard bargain. <laughs> Make it medium well done. What? The T-bone. Make it medium well done. <laughs> what questions arise here? Was John trained correctly, or was he just careless? Did John knowingly carry out the procedure incorrectly? If you were Paul, what would you do? Let's pause here to discuss this scene. <laughs> 